Okay, today the Baylor Bears won their first NCAA tournament game since 2014, and they did it in a flashy fashion. They are set to play USC on Sunday. That tops this morning's sports wrap. The Bears entered this one with a chip on their shoulder, but help from the bench made Baylor a real contender. Al Freeman stacked up 21 points, shooting 60% in field goal range and three-point attempts, and Swish, there's one in the first quarter, but Freeman wasn't the only one hot off the bench. Here's Terry Mason in second quarter under the basket and the foul. He had a total 19 points and nine rebounds. And of course, Motley came in with a dagger. Sorry, New Mexico State, you're going home. The goal goes to come in and just win it, you know? So uh, we want to just take every game as for what it is and um, make sure we come in and just play our hardest, play desperate, you know? Because after this, you lose, you, you go home. So we knew one team was going home today and uh, we made sure it wasn't us. Baylor is set to play the Trojans this Sunday after USC pulled a bit of an upset against SMU. Only 18% of the 18 million brackets submitted predicted this win. The Trojans shot 58% in the second half and made 9 of 11 three-pointers. This matchup is set to be highly competitive, but Baylor is determined to keep their intensity. Um, just keep up the intensity and everything that we have and uh, just let it carry over. I know this game's over with now and everybody played great, but we have to go rest up, eat right, um, sleep, and get ready for Sunday. And the Lady Bears also joined in the victory of moving forward in the NCAA, NCAA tourney this weekend as they completely blew out Texas Southern 119 to 30. It was the largest win in tourney history. The Baylor Bears are going to the Sweet 16 after beating the USC Trojans. That tops today's sports wrap. First half, King McClure gets the start for the Bears, scores 14 points in the first 20 minutes, including four behind the arc. Terry Mason adds another eight off the bench, and Jonathan Motley with a couple monster dunks. The Trojans would tie in the second half at 36, followed by Baylor's 72 Baylor run. But 33 minutes into the game, the Bears only had two points off turnovers. A Manu Lacombe three and the foul gives the Bears a 69 67 lead with 440 to play. He goes on his own 8-1 run in about a minute and finishes with 12 points. They hold off, they hold off USC 82-78. The Bears will face South Carolina in the Sweet 16. The Baylor Lady Bears won their 14th straight first round game Saturday night. Their 89 point victory over 16 seed Texas Southern sets up a second round date with the Cal Golden Bears. The one seed Lady Bears will take on nine seed Cal today. Baylor is coming off a 119 to 30 win over Texas Southern while Cal just squeaked by LSU last night, 55 to 52. Just like the Lady Bears, Cal has had its share of success outside of conference play. With last night's win, the Golden Bears are now 13 and 0 against non-Pac-12 opponents. They'll attempt to keep that streak alive tonight, but they know trying to pull one of the biggest upsets in the tournament will be no easy task. Tip-off is set for 8 p.m. at the Farrell Center. And Texas is taking on NC State in Austin. Winner goes to Lexington, Kentucky. Texas trailed most of the second half. Here's up two or four minutes. Mia Spencer, the tough lay-in. She had 31 points before fouling out. Horns regained the lead, up one with 11 seconds left, and Joyner Holm takes a huge charge there. The freshman took over the game, up two now. She tips it to herself and scores with five seconds left to pull it out of reach. The Texas Longhorns are sweet 16 bound, 84-80 the final. The Horns get the winner of Kansas State-Stanford game on Friday in Lexington, Kentucky.